Hey guys and girls, I'm James and welcome to my channel. Today we're taking a look at something that's a little bit different. It may not look different when you first look at it, but it's the Drill Cone Blue Bugs 3. Been around a long time. It first came out, I think, from MJX a few years back. The Drill Cone has repackaged it and rebranded it under their Blue Bugs 3, which is really a cool looking drone. I've seen the price very much over the years, all the way from $120 down to under what I paid for, less than $50 on Amazon. I paid this price for it. Uh, the thing about this drone that makes it so unique is that it's under $50 and it has brushless motors. So if you say, James, if it has brushless motors and it's under $50, wouldn't that make it the perfect beginner drone? Absolutely not, because the, let me explain the way this thing flies. It flies like an FPV drone. Uh, and what I mean by that, you know, they fly FPVs with the goggles and then they have their controller in their hands. But your normal camera drone has two gimbals that, that work on four axes. Well, this left one, as it goes up and down, changes the speed of the rotors, which makes the drone go up and down. Well, if you get in a panic situation and you're flying it, you just let go and it'll stop and hover. But on an FPV drone, this left joystick, it's a dead stick. It stays in one position. So the controller of this Bugs 3, when you move it up and down, it stays. Just like it does when they're flying with the FPV drones, with their goggles. So if you see the guys flying these FPVs and they're racing and they're going through the gates and doing all those acrobatic moves, they can do that because this left joystick is in one position. But it makes it very hard to fly, especially if you're used to flying your normal camera drone. Then DJI came out with their FPV system with six different levels. So when you first buy it, it flies with the goggles. It flies just like any other camera drone. But it, as you advance through the levels, all the way to level six, which is called acro mode, you have to go into the controller and take the back off and pull the spring out. Because right now, if you look, this is spring loaded. Because I'm not there yet. But I'll tell you what, flying this uh, Bugs 3 to me is better than doing the simulator because it's under $50 you're starting to get real action of flying with a dead stick on the left side. Um, to a beginner it's almost impossible. As a great FPV pilot got hold of this, this would fly normal to him. So this is not the best beginner drone but I don't know why this doesn't get more accolades on this is the best drone to buy to start learning FPV. So before we go put this in the air, let me show you how to calibrate the controller and how to get it connected to the drone, and then we'll go fly it a little bit. Then I'll come back for my final review on it. All right, let's see what she weighs in at. She weighs in at 454 grams. If you add the Hero 4 with the mount, that brings it up to 541 grams, which is pretty close to the equivalent as one adult beverage. So the drone comes with an extra set of props that you can replace and how you do that, it comes with a prop removal tool and that fits into the motor and locks into it so you can turn these to get them off. Like I should change these because this has a chip in it from when I crashed it last time. <laughs> so it comes with a prop removal tool. It comes with a handy dandy screwdriver and that is to put on the prop guard that it comes with and the screws are inside and the legs. It does not come with the legs installed. You gotta put those on and screw them in here and you can apply it without the legs and you can just fly it by landing it onto these mounts on, that are mounted on the bottom of each arm under the motors if you didn't want to fly with it. I just think it looks cooler and you can't fly it with the camera without the legs. And like I said, this takes the GoPro Hero 4. Uh, the 8 would not fit. Even with this one, I had to put a little bit of foam into it to get it to uh, fit in there. And when you mount it, it slides in Then there's a little lock right here. And on the battery, so the white goes into the charger that it comes with that I didn't mention. Uh, so that's a nice little charger. It has a green and black red light. And of course, it, when it's done charging, it lets you know. So the, so the battery is very powerful. It's an 1800 milliwatt amp battery. It's made in China. That's why the writing's upside down. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> it's uh, very powerful. It takes about an hour and a half to charge. You get 15, 20 minutes of flight time. This plugs into the charger and then this plugs into the back of the drone once you got it in there and it does have a plus and minus sign as you plug it in. Like I said, there's no on and off switch. So when you plug it in, it turns it on. Well, let me show you how to get this thing calibrated. So what you want to do is always hold down on the, this is the, this powers on the motors and turns them off. So press down, hold up, press down on this switch upwards for three seconds. Hear those three beeps. And now I do circle three times both directions. This calibrates your remote, okay? And then hold back up on it for another three seconds. All right, now turn it off. 
or you, you might be able to leave it on. Plug in your drone. There is no on and off switch, so as soon as you plug this in, the drone comes on. So that calibrated it, but with the battery turned on, you, might, you can even turn it on and turn it off. But push down on this. You see the lights, how they're blinking in the front? That means it's not connected. So press down on this, hold up, and both these go down and to the right until they're solid. Once they're solid, uh, you're, you're ready to take off. And how you take off is not with this. Then make sure this is all the way down. <laughs> it won't start. See, now they'll start. And if you try to just press it once to kill, the, to kill it, it won't kill it. You've got to hold it all the way down. So if it's flying through the air and you want, you're flying away and you're afraid, you press this, it's going to fall out of the sky. Also, this is a very bright light on the front of it. Uh, one thing that would be really neat is to take this camera off and to mount this DJI Air 1 unit right here. That'd be really cool. It would fit in there perfectly and it also has this little compartment where you could work on it and mount it in there and fly it with the goggles. And that'll be, be a great video for another time. So the controller is not rechargeable. It takes batteries in the back. So let's go put her up in the air. All right, guys, I'm not going to bore you with a bunch of video of me flying this thing around. Um, all I can say is if you're even thinking about getting one for $50 of all the drones I've ever reviewed, this is one I can guarantee you that you will not be disappointed in your investment. It's a lot of fun. You know, it's kind of quirky because if you're not used to flying a dead stick on the left, it's going to take a lot of getting used to, but it's going to improve your piloting skills a lot of flying a drone. Uh, it's very fast, the motors are very powerful, the battery is really good, the, there's no latency in the controller. In other words, when you press on the controller, it goes immediately in the direction that you want it to go. Um, but not knowing how to control the left stick, sometimes that's not where you want it to go. So you're going to crash it a few times, so just start out like you're walking a dog, just have it next to you, fly around, or put it up real high so you can't make any mistakes. Um, but you, get put, you put it up real high and it's blue. There's the lights are not different colors, so you can kind of lose the orientation of if it's front or back. So keep it close to you. I think it goes 300 meters. That's about as far as I threw it out also. Again, really impressed. Uh, a little bit windy this day. You wouldn't even know there was any wind out there. You see the lights in the front, how they're white. So that does tell you that's the front of the drone. And of course, the camera's in the front. I'll show you a little bit of video from the cameras, but you know, it, that has nothing to do with the drone. That just shows the, uh, the quality of the video from the GoPro. So that comes down to what you put on the drone of what you're flying. But it does show that you can get some really cool footage of it if you just want to get some video footage of something and you don't want to spend a bunch of money and you've got a good GoPro, then you can buy this and put it up in the air. So here comes my review on it. Uh, enjoy a little bit more flying. And thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, got a lot of different videos coming out on different types of drones. And this is one of them. It, I found this one really, really interesting for $50, and it was a lot of fun. So I'll see you in the next one. Hey guys and girls, thanks so much for watching my review of the Drillcon Blue Bugs 3. That can be a tongue twister. Amazing little drone for under $50 with brushless motors. Uh, flies very well for what it does. Uh, my suggestion if you buy one of these is to start out really slow. The first intention as a, any drone pilot or anyone that wants to have fun, you throw it up in the air and you try to go really fast with it. But if you kind of walk around like I was doing at slow walking speed and try to get it to where you start getting the orientation of it, in your hands then it becomes a lot more fun you're still going to crash it a lot but it's a lot better to f crash a 50 dollar drone than a 1500 dollar drone um, 
Who's this for? Well, it's not for a beginner. I've always said that the, you know, the best beginner drone is the HS210 to learn the orientation of a drone before you go spend thousands on another one. But if you're a drone enthusiast, I think this thing's a must. I mean, it'll really teach you what those FPV pilots are doing. And if you're an FPV pilot, you gotta have one because they're just so much fun to fly for the price. And then you can really hone your skills and try some different things. Uh, really looking forward to taking the light out and putting the FP uh, v camera in there and trying to fly that but that'll be for a different video and again if you got something out of this uh, please like and subscribe subscribers mean everything to this channel i've got a lot of good content coming out soon and uh, see you in the next one